Kevin, a lot of work obviously went into this trade today. Uh, just your initial thoughts of what went down today at getting PLD sent to, to Los Angeles for three players in a draft pick. Um, well, we're excited. I think that um, you know this trade is, you know, given us lots of um, you know, different depth and, uh, and lots of uh, different um, variants within our organization. I think that uh, you know each of the players brings something uh, unique and, and specific to their games that uh, are going to give us uh, you know a much more, a much greater. Um, you know, variety uh, for the coaches to be able to uh, to use and, and, and make uh, uh, you know make different uh, uh, concepts with. Uh, let's start with Gabriel Velarde. What did you like about him? Well, you know, Gabriel's uh, you know a really interesting situation. Obviously, he had some injuries earlier on in his career, and and when you go through a development process of a young player, when they miss some formative years, it, it takes some time for them to catch up. And I think that, um, you know, what you're seeing and what we're hoping is that, uh, you know, you're, you're seeing Gabe, you know, come out of uh, those formative years and, and, and overcoming those injuries and, and now taking that next step to be, you know, the type of player that he was drafted. He's very highly sought of, uh, you know, out uh, during his draft years. And, and uh, um, but again, injuries are a very unfortunate part of the game and, and just thankful for him, you know, in his career that he was able to, to move forward and, and fortunate for us. I think that he's just scratching the surface. Alex Iofalo knows Don McToninato, he knows Neil Pionk, so there's some familiarity there, but there's a lot more to him than that. Yeah, you know, again, he's a, he's a great guy that uh, I think will bring a lot of experience, you know, to our room. I think that, um, you know, he's a good two-way player. He plays with a lot of energy. Um, you know, that leadership, I think, that he's going to bring. I think the type of person that, you know, we've talked to and heard and, and, and learned to, to know about him uh, is going to be a real good mix, I think, uh, you know, in our dressing room. And, um, you know, again, these players are, are, are people that uh, are, are great people that I think are going to be good, real good parts of our uh, organization. Rasmus Kapari, still young, a uh, former first round pick. What do you make of him? You know, big guy, got lots of speed. Um, you know, I, I think he can play wing, he can play center, you know, and, and he's someone that, um, you know, again, is, is just a young player that is, is finding his way right now. And I think uh, where we're at within our organization, I think we're looking to, uh, you know, continue to grow and build upon the great pieces that we have within our organization. And, um, you know, Rasmus is someone that, um, you know, I, I think, uh, given some greater opportunities is, is going to blossom and, and, and that's what we're, you know, we're hoping and that's what we're banking on and, and obviously uh, you know, picking up a, a second round pick um, you know, gives us that, that eye towards the future as well. Well, you are here for the National Hockey League draft. I know there's other things in the, in the fire as well, but how excited, I talked to Mark about this a little bit earlier, how excited are you for the draft to get going underway? Yeah, the draft is always an interesting time, um, you know, when you have picks. And mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're fortunate that we do have a, a first round pick this year and, and uh, you know, looking forward to that. I, you know, you, you get more excited as you, uh, you know, you get closer. You're in the meetings, you talk to the scouts, you see the names, you watch the videos, you read the reports. Um, but when you start getting, you know, a day out and, you know, when you're in the meetings today, you start to really hear the passion and the voices of the scouts and, and the anticipation of, of what you might be able to add to your organization. Well, you look, you've been so busy looking at the current roster. How hard was it to focus on the draft itself? Well, I'm fortunate that you know, the staff I have is second to none. And, yeah. and uh, you know, the, the work that they do, um, you know, it's not just on draft day. It, it starts literally the next day after the draft. And, and that's, that's the process. We've built, a, you know, a, a real sound foundation as far as how we like things done, what we like in, in players and, 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 and the evaluation process. So, uh, you know, and again, I have, I have great assistant GMs. We're on the pro side and on the amateur side that, um, you know, these decisions aren't made in vacuums, whether it's a draft pick or whether it's a trade. Uh, but, you know, these are things that are ongoing, you know, all the time. It's not, um, you know, just something that, that happens, you know, at the moment. You know, the, the, the game is a 365-day you know, type of thing with uh, when you're in the National Hockey League. Uh, you look at the schedule. I know. I know you've had a, you've had a look at it before. Are you yeah. happy with it? There's not a lot of back to backs this year. You got Florida coming in the first game. You got Los Angeles coming in the second game at home. So it seems like everything's working out. Yeah, I really didn't even think about that aspect of things, but. Um you know, one thing I was actually I'm pretty excited to see is, is I think it's a great um, um, a great schedule for the fans mm -hmm. having so many Saturday games. Um, you know, being able you know to, to be able to bring kids and bring families and stuff like that with some afternoon games. I'm I'm really excited to see if that you know obviously helps grow the game and, and that's the most important thing. But um, it's a tough job the schedule maker has. But um, you know they added an extra week at the end of the year and I think that that took out some congestion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're probably going to pay for it down the line where, where you know, you, you've got a short period of time like we do right now between the draft and free agency. But, um, you know, I, I thought they did a good job. Appreciate your time. I know you're very busy. So uh, good luck for the rest of the way here. Thanks very much.